So here we are on the Cyclone. Naturally, we can't actually escape this dungeon because, well, we're in the middle of a Cyclone. How are you gonna get out of that? So, this is a relatively straightforward dungeon, but I do like it. Uh, enemies aren't the best, like, these are all old enemies, but it's not a bad setup. Gigas often appears with the uh, bomb enemies, but the captains are a bit rare to this battle. Remember, most bombs are actually weak to fire, and as such, well, fire is pretty effective. Though I would suggest killing a couple of enemies first, because otherwise, you know, it's, it's gonna be a bit difficult for uh, fire to do damage to all those enemies, because it does, uh, does divide out when you uh, have multiple targets. But regardless, again, straightforward dungeon, but it is very nice looking. It's a fairly simple tile set, but I like it. Not one of my favorite dungeons, but it, it's, it's up there, I guess. And of course, we have more of these floors that hurt you, but before that, we have Royal Guards. Now, Royal Guards are actually somewhat tough. Their stats are... Yeah, they're, they're actually pretty decent. It's kind of surprising at this point in the game. And they can actually cause poison with their physical attacks, which is pretty useful, because, again, poison, not venom, poison lingers after battle. So if they hit you, they could be kind of annoying. Thankfully, though, I can resist poison rather well at this point in the game. Don't know about Rickard, because, of course, it's Rickard. He is the fourth party member, and... While he is one of the better fourth party members, he does kind of suffer from, you know, not having an entire game's worth of experience. But regardless. So, back to these floors. Yeah, they hurt you. Basically, all the uh, previous dungeons have been sort of getting you in a... Getting you prepared for this one, though. Again, it's not the worst gimmick. It doesn't drain that much HP, so really you should be able to handle it no problem. The, these characters all have a lot of HP. Oh, and we have the introduction of the Vampire Lady. Again, these guys are undead, and here's a problem with the Blood Sword. Yeah, remember how it's basically a drain spell? That does actually adhere to the normal undead rules. If you try to drain from an enemy that's undead, then it will hurt you, and of course, Rickard doesn't have any magic. On the bright side, though, this does actually make it pretty easy to grind for HP, if need be, because if you do damage to yourself, then, well, you'll get more HP. Or stamina, really, either or, you know, that sort of thing. So yes, Blood Sword can be useful for that, but if you actually want to do damage, yeah, you're not really going to be too successful. Oh well, I'm pretty sure I can find something to do with Rickard in the t for the time being. It's not really too much of a problem. Again, straightforward dungeon. A lot of the floors look the same, which is probably why this isn't one of my favorite dungeons. I mean, it's it's a bit it's a bit repetitive. But again, I do actually like this point in the game because it's really cool. I mean, oh, wood golem. Uh, these guys aren't too tough themselves. They don't look like wood, but they are weak to fire, given, again, despite their looks, they are made of wood, so burn them up. Uh, but yes, as I was saying, I do really like this dungeon. Uh, I was complaining earlier about the whole Finn thing, where it's just sort of, all of a sudden, uh, we're retaking Finn, and it just sort of comes out of nowhere. The same thing happens with a Cyclone, but I think it's more fitting. And plus, it doesn't really come out of nowhere as much as that one does, because you're you're taking a journey to find Ultima, it takes a long, long time, and suddenly when you get back, BAM! Everything's been destroyed, just out of nowhere. Cyclone's about to destroy Finn. Yeah, suddenly, it kind of gets a bit dangerous, so I do actually appreciate this. The other things could have used a bit better uh, lead-up. Oh, Generals, another recolor of the uh, Captain-Soldier-type enemies. They're not too tough, but of course, like the other uh, soldier enemies, they can be tough when they first appear, so be wary. But again, not too wary, because they go down relatively easily, and I don't think they really have any special abilities, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, they don't have any special abilities, I can't remember them using anything, so they just attack, they're not too bad, but anyway, yeah. Cyclone, pretty cool. The fact that it just comes out of nowhere works a lot more for it than the Finn thing, and really the Dreadnought, if you think about it. I mean, 
That sort of had lead up, but then it's like, oh hey, you can just walk onto the Dreadnought, no problem. That was my problem with that segment, but this one actually seems to be a pretty good story segment overall, so I totally appreciate that. Also, we've got Lamias here. Lamias are actually downgrades of the Lamia Queen, which we were able to beat way back when. Of course, that counted as a boss, so it's no surprise that these guys aren't as powerful as them, but they have similar abilities, Blink, Confuse, just not as powerful, and of course their stats aren't as good. If you're able to take down a Lamia Queen, which you were able to a while ago if you got to this point, you should have no problem with Lamias here. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, uh, just remembered one thing about the Blood Sword. Go back to that for a sec. There were actually uh, two Blood Swords in the original version. Uh, this is the only one in this version. Uh, the other one was removed. I believe. Uh, where was the other one? I think it was actually in Finn Castle in the original, so you could get one much earlier. Oh, we got a Wind Flute. Uh, that's an item that you can use in battle. Oh, Green Dragon. Like the White Dragon, but more powerful, so... Yeah, oh, and of course it uh, uses, I believe it's Poison Element, right? Should be, because I think the uh, Poison Dragon's a different one, isn't it? Or the uh, Thunder Dragon, pretty sure, at least. But anyway, yeah, Wind Flute, battle item that summons a Cyclone, so that's kind of fitting for this area, actually. I guess the Emperor just sort of tucked it in there once he got the uh, Cyclone summoned and was like, Alright, I'm just going to leave that there. I've destroyed most of the world anyway, so it's a okay if I just leave this lying around. Honestly, I don't find it to be that useful. I don't really use it ever, but again, kind of interesting. Calls forth, forth a Cyclone, so again, fitting. But we're actually almost at the end of the dungeon. Here's the red carpet, and once we step forward, we'll be at the Emperor. It's finally time to take him down once and for all.